Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. This is lecture series 3 Computer Networks dealing with star network topology. In the last video, I have explained about what is physical topology. Here I will give a small recap and go into the video. So, topology is nothing but it is the geometrical representation of the network, how the links, nodes are formed. We have different types of topologies which I have mentioned already. In the last video, we have seen about what is mesh topology in detail. In this video, we will be seeing what is star topology in detail. Come, let's go into the video. Star topology. Here, star topology is a dedicated point to point link to the hub. That is, in mesh, the communication takes place between each and every nodes directly. But here in star topology, the nodes is connected to a central hub, which is the central core. The communication between these nodes are not directly done. How it is done is, the data from this node is to be transferred to this node. But it is not directly sent. It is sent through a hub. The data from this node reaches the hub. The hub reroutes that data to the destination node. Here, the link formed can be of wired, or wireless. Based on the design of the hub, the star topology is divided into three types. Active hub star topology, passive hub star topology and if the hub acts as a switch. So these are the three types we are going to see in detail. Passive star topology. Here you have a hub which is a passive hub. You have a sender, you have different destination node. Now, the sender is sending the data. Once the sender sends the data, it reaches the hub. Now, this passive hub will reroute the data to different destination nodes. Now, it not just directly send the data to the destination. There is a check that is performed here. If the address of a node and the destination address matches, then if it matches, the data is transferred to the particular node. If not, it is cancelled back and rerouted to some other destinated node. So, the data from the sender is passed to the hub and here, if the address of this node and the address address of this node and the address of the destination node is same the data is sent to this destination if suppose it is not same then it reroutes the data and checks for this destination node so where the data matches to that destination node the data from the sender is passed this is about passive hub and passive hub's ability is that it will not cause any disturbances. It will protect the complete network that there is no intervention taking place in the network. Next is active star topology. Here, this hub performs some additional functions. What it is, rather than transmitting the data from the sender to the destination node as how the passive hub does, same it is happening here, but there is some additional function that is happening. What is that additional function? Editor data, that is, it reprocesses or regenerates the communication signal. That is, this active hub will act as a repeater. There in passive hub, what we saw, the sender's data is received to the or is passed on to the destinated nodes. But here, from 
this destinated node you can send information to the sender that is why this active hub is otherwise called as repeater and this active hub is suitable where the cable lengths will be very much longer and you can connect n number of nodes to the hub next is star topology using switch now we have seen how this star topology is working with active and passive hub now we will be seeing when the hub acts as a switch now this switch becomes the central core of the network so here instead of hub you are using a switch but one difference is in passive and active network data has been transmitted to different nodes from the sender here the transmission of communication signal doesn't take place it can transmit the data message to the receiver only after reading the address of the destination so in active and passive hub there was a check which which happened in the hub that whether the nodes address matches then the data is being sent now before transmitting only here what switch does is it will check whether it is matched or not if it is not matched here only the data will be directly cancelled and sent back to the sender so it doesn't transmit the signal it keeps on checking so rather than that it performs some additional functions like routing that is this switch one decides itself where the data has to be routed to which destination next is processing or regeneration of the signal so once if it is not reached if it is not proper it will regenerate the data or regenerate the signal to give the perfect accuracy bridging that is it will bridge a gap between the sender and the destinated node such that the communication of these both takes place in a good way next is network management so seeing this giving a check here itself as a hub the network management or the network performance will be on the higher side when the hub is acting as a switch next is there are some characters of star topology so here active hub is using some techniques passive hub is using some techniques and switch when the hub is acting as a switch it is accepting all the data but doesn't broadcast the message it is keeping a check in the hub itself so the performance is increased with each and every topologies different kinds of topologies in the star network so what are all the characteristics of the star topology so the star topology is easy for installation that is whether it is small big or medium devices the installation procedures is very easy next is it needs more cable that is see from the hub you can connect n number of nodes but the cable that is connecting the hub and the network will be more longer and hub and hub also can be connected so the construction for the cable for the construction of these two hub also will be very much longer so the structure of the star topology will be secured by this way and here in when you are using star topology the data losses will be very much minimized and the whole network will not will not be disturbed if there is any failure minor failure happening in the network say suppose this node with the connection with the hub is not functioning so only this node will be failure but all other nodes will be perform performing its function so the whole network will not be disturbed even there is a small failure that is that has occurred so next is about application of star topology so application of star topology you have many application best application that i can show you is about the banking sector that is 
with a central hub many clients will be connected to that central hub for accessing their datas accessing their transaction so the bank doesn't provide each and small small hub for every client one single server which is acting as a hub where n number of nodes are connected to communicate with the bank server so our home networks see if you use a telephone network you will have a central telephone network main telephone network from that using big big cables you can start connecting different telephones where you can use landline phones so most of our uh, lab computer labs is following star topologies so there are some pros and cons that has been followed what are all the pros fault tolerance so as we have already seen how the fault is toler tolerated that is even when there is only one small error occurring in the network it doesn't affect the complete network scalability that is you can connect n number of nodes and if there is any small changes in the data there there doesn't happen any data collision so these are all the positive aspects that you can see next is cons cons is it is expensive in nature because you need more cables to connect each and every nodes to the hub and you also need additional equipments if suppose one hub is not enough you need two or three hubs to connect n number of nodes so additional equipment is obviously needed so there are high chances of damage in cables because cables are of longer lengths so damages can easily occur in cables which will affect the overall performance of star topology so these are all the small small negatives that is there in the star topology hope you liked it stay tuned for next upcoming topologies please like share comment and subscribe our channel and keep supporting us Thank you.